In this video we're going to be focusing on regular exercise in the cardiovascular system. The two main objectives for this, this video are to identify the effects of regular and long-term exercise on the cardiovascular system and then to be able to explain how these effects can impact performance. Now regular or long-term participation in physical activity has many benefits, the most important of which is that the heart becomes more efficient. We're now going to look at some of the effects of regular exercise on the cardiovascular system. There are a few key things that happen as you exercise. The first one is decreased resting heart rate. The resting heart rate gives an indication of fitness. This is because the heart gets bigger and stronger with training so that it can supply the same amount of blood with fewer beats. Therefore, the heart of a fit person beats fewer times, which is more efficient and results in less stress on the heart. The next point is heart recovery rate. Heart recovery rate is the speed at which the heart returns to normal after exercise. The faster the recovery rate, the fitter the person. A fast heart recovery rate is another long-term benefit of exercise. Blood pressure. Regular exercise reduces blood pressure. Exercise can help with weight loss too, which can reduce blood pressure. Being overweight can cause or add to the risk of having high blood pressure. Although it is possible to have high blood pressure without knowing, it can lead to a stroke or heart attack. Factors which affect blood pressure in individuals include age, sex, muscular development, stress and tiredness. Altitude can also affect blood pressure as the body reacts to the low oxygen pressure which can occur at high altitudes. The next point is healthy veins and arteries. Fitness increases the number of capillaries within the heart muscle. It also helps to make blood vessels more flexible and efficient and so to stay clear. If a heart attack occurs, the area of damage is critical. A blockage in a fit person's blood vessel is likely to result in less damage than it might in an unfit person. This is another long-term benefit of exercise. Now we relate this to a sports performer. A trained athlete such as Olympic 400 meters champion Christina Horogu could have a resting pulse rate as low as 40 beats per minute, while an average person might have a resting pulse rate of 72 beats per minute. The resting pulse rate can also be affected by age, sex, size, posture, eating, emotion, body temperature, environmental factors, and smoking. Now there are two other key terms when we talk about regular exercise in the cardiovascular system. These are cardiac output and stroke volume. You need to note these down somewhere on your sheet of paper. Regular exercise increases stroke volume. Stroke volume is the amount of blood pumped by the heart per beat. When a person exercises regularly, stroke volume increases, both at rest and at work. This is because the heart becomes more efficient and stronger as a result of regular training. At rest, stroke volume may be 85 milliliters, but when exercising it could be up to 130 milliliters. The next one is cardiac output. This is governed by something called stroke volume and heart rate. Now cardiac output is the amount of blood ejected from the heart in one minute. It's governed by the heart rate, or the pulse, and the stroke volume which both change when a person participates in exercise over a long time. Now the equation to calculate cardiac output is on the screen below. This is something that quite often you can be tested on in your end of year exam. To recap, the benefits of regular exercise include heart pumps more blood per beat and becomes more efficient. You have a lower resting pulse. You return to resting pulse rate quicker, so your recovery rate's better. You have a lower blood pressure. Veins and arteries become healthier, reducing the risk of coronary heart disease. Size and volume of heart increases. And resting heart rate is reduced, lowering working load on the heart.